Hello everyone, proud to bring you Wednesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. DA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks very much. Last season, LeBron James set a career high in assists. And he said the assist has always been his favorite. LeBron said, it gives my teammates an opportunity to score. And that's what's always mattered to me. And that team first mentality is just a big part of who LeBron is. Kevin? Always looking to bring his guys with him. <laughs> Thanks, David. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. The forwards are LeBron and Davis. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Contavious Caldwell-Pope. And Harrell's in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Clipper, wing pairing for him, it's George and Leonard. Morris is out there with Ibaka. And it's Beverly in at the one. Greg is a point guard. What is it you like to see from that position on the floor? I think first and foremost, leadership. Uh, it, it's so valuable at that spot. And, you know, you, you, you always got to have your head high because your teammates are feeding off what you put forth in terms of your body language and enthusiasm. So, you know, the typical stuff about organizing the offense and, and setting the tone on the defensive end, that stuff's important as well. But so much of how you carry yourself out on the floor when you deal with adversity and you know that you're going to, it, it is really paramount. James outside. And no good that time. The Clippers go the other way with it. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. And Davis gets it to go. And Schroeder entrusted to run this offense, making the right call. On offense, here are the Clippers. It's a three-point game. Beverly dishes to Morris. And so the ball out of bounds. Davis touched it last. And stolen by Harrell. First quarter of play, one minute played. LeBron with it. Leonard picks him up. LeBron passes to Caldwell Pope. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. You just love LeBron's patience. Scanning the floor, delivers the basketball on point and on time. And the energy of a guy like Montrez Harrell can rub off on the entire team. Yes, it can. GA, he plays with a high motor, generates steals, blocks, and deflections. He's active all over the court, and now we're seeing it on the offensive end as well. And here's Schroeder. Serge Ibaka making his last triple. LeBron against Leonard. James kicks to Caldwell Pope. Driving the lane. Loads it up for Davis. Hammers the alley-oop through. You won't find a much better alley-oop partner. AD flying to the rim. Pass to Leonard. Over LeBron. Leonard no luck. Lakers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Morris with a screen on Schroeder. Pass to Morris. On the wing, George. And another three for the Clippers. Though he doesn't show a lot of expression, PG-13 is ultra competitive. Claps back from distance. On the wing, James. Back to Schroeder. Davis setting the pick for Schroeder. The Lakers get it back in a new 14. Six on the shot clock. 
Driving in. It's good. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Clippers trail by seven. Beverly feeling it out a bit. And the layup's good off the glass. Patrick Beverly likes to play aggressive. Plays at a high pace. Nice finish off contact. On the wing, James. Shoots over Leonard. LeBron, no luck. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Excellent concentration from Paul George, overwhelming the aggressive defense with his strength and determination. Leonard against James. Outside, Davis. Lakers working the ball around now. Well, Pope was just to hear. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. He plays with such force. You see why Harrell has been called the heart and soul of this team. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. They didn't need any time to warm up from long range today. Their three-point shooting has been terrific in the first half. And the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Zubats is checked in for Ibaka. Luke Kennard comes in for Marcus Morris. And it's Williams in for Patrick Beverly. A free throw off from Harrell. Well, you know, teams look for plus sixes. Players whose wingspans exceed their height by a half foot. Montrez Harrell is a 6'7 player with a 7'4 wingspan. If you're struggling with the math, ladies and gentlemen, that's a plus nine. And here is Harrell after Lou Williams was able to get the three to go. And the rejection by Leonard. Strong instincts and positioning. Kawhi read that shot all the way. Short. Rejected by Gasol. And there's the pass to Harrell. And here is Gasol. Pass to Caruso. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And between his length and his athleticism, Montrez Harrell well suited for that role of small ball center, Greg, in today's NBA. Yeah, I mean, he's fearless. He even giving up a few pounds, a few inches, he'll go right at you and making steady improvements as a rebounder year over year. Sure. And he knocks down the first one. Marcus Morris is checked in for the Clippers. And so he hits both. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Clippers. Trailing by four. Pass to Morris. There's the triple. And no good. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Caruso, the pass to Harrell. And the rejection by Zubats. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. There's 39 seconds left to play here in the first. And again, no good by the Lakers. Clippers trail by four. Here's Kennard. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Trying to defend Kennard. You know he can hit shots with limited space. That helps him get you off balance. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now.
that free throw good from Kennard. When you look at Luke Kennard's free throw percentage, if you're the defense, you might want to keep him away from the line. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. one then this is the second attempt from the free throw line Lakers leading by three two second difference between shot clock and game clock down to five on the shot clock takes a three no good there Bernard with the ball and so both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. Lakers ahead. They're up by three. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Recently, we spoke to Patrick Beverly about his throwback style. Old school basketball. You know, and it's fun and it's light. Fans deserve it on both sides. Uh, you know, it's good old fashioned basketball. You, you know, it's all a part of the game. We're both trying to win. And uh, that's what people want to see. Hard nosed, edgy basketball. Now, pound for pound, Greg Beverly may be the most physical player in the league. And he also gets in your head. It's a combination that allows him to get stops against guys as big as Kevin Durant. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So the Lakers five right now. Davis is the pivot with Kuzma by his side. Aldwell, Pope, and LeBron fill out the wings. And it's Schroeder in at the five. It's a shot you would think he would make. But he just doesn't make it all the time. And as he gets deeper into his career, Serge Ibaka's shooting continues to improve. What a great job he's done of changing how he scores. It's very impressive because a late bloomer Serge Ibaka has been on the offensive end. Let's look at last season. His highest point per game average. And he's in his 11th NBA season. That still has great efficiency on the offensive end, but sometimes he's overlooked as a scorer on this team. Here's Beverly after the made shot from Dennis Schroeder. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Caldwell Pope outside. Back to LeBron. Over Beverly. Up and in, it's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. You could say, LeBron, that's too easy. But great players create these opportunities every single night. Oscar Williams. Spins. No good that time. And the Lakers take it the other way. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. The D bit on that pass fake, and that freed him up. And it's a nine-point Laker lead. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Williams. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Williams has got five now. Good interior defense. But Lou Williams not to be intimidated, not to be denied. Bounce pass, Schroeder. Here's LeBron. And another basket for the Lakers. 
shooting much better this quarter than last. You can see his confidence growing. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Greg, you were drafted 12th overall by the New York Knicks and then second overall by the Grizzlies in the expansion draft. So you've had a very unique view of being in that position in two different settings. Yeah, I mean, two very different cities, but really each beautiful in its own way. Uh, the, the New York draft, obviously coming out of college, that was like a dream come true to go and play for Pat Riley and, and then get the opportunity to go and be a part of a brand new team in a new country, if you will, was also uh, a, a really cool experience as well. I hope we can take a petition started by you and me to get the NBA back in Vancouver. I miss and going Seattle, to Vancouver. right? Let's get back oh, in both Seattle. those cities. Exactly. Exactly. Checked in for Zubox and George is subbed in for Lou Williams. And the Lakers also making a switch. Harold's checked in. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. In the corner, it's James. Over George. And no good. Trying to use the glass. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. Nine point game. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Davis. Power move from PG 13. He's added a lot of muscle to his frame over the years, putting it to good use right there. That free throw good from George. In OKC, Paul George showed he could be an MVP caliber performer. With Kawhi on the Clippers, he could be that 1B or that 1A. And the Clippers making a change here. Leonard's checked in. And then for the Lakers, Marc Gasol's checked in for Anthony Davis. Matthews comes in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And PG, you know, he has the versatility to succeed in different roles. Doesn't have to dominate the ball. Yes, and if anything, he's more comfortable scoring within the flow of the offense. With his all-around impact, doesn't need to force things to make winning plays. But if you need him to, he can. Clippers trail by seven. Outside Leonard. Ibaka with a screen on LeBron. And Leonard gets it to go. The decision making of Leonard could have hit the roller, but already had the shot he wanted. Caruso, the pass to LeBron. Driving to the basket. Good for another basket for him. Number four today, he's four of eight. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. And here's Beverly. Now the pass to Morris. Just five on the clock. Over Harrell. That one off the back iron and out. Lakers leading by seven. Caruso kicks to James. To the inside. And there's Mark Gasol on the assist by LeBron. Gasol's got his first basket of the night. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. The 
Ibaka sets the pick for George. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Here's Caruso. He's covered by Leonard. And it's Harrell missing. Clippers trail by nine. 35 seconds left to play in the first half. Outside, George. A three. Rebound by Harrell. Harrell's got four rebounds in this game. LeBron kicks to Caruso. Over Beverly. And that one's good, Caruso. Caruso's got the lead up to 11 now for the Lakers. The Clippers shooting poorly, just 35% so far. Now Leonard. Ibaka sets the pick for Leonard. Tremendous box out. I love how he bodied up, held his ground. Textbook, old school rebounder. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Contavious, you guys came out with a lot of energy in the first half. What got you going? Uh, like you said, we came out with a lot of energy. Uh, we want to get easy basket uh, layups, uh, knock down shots. You got all that and more in that first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. And LeBron, now late in his career, still playing at a very high level, obviously. Kenny, when's the last time you saw a star LeBron's age be this good? Oof, man, I don't know. Dirk aged well, but he wasn't dominant. Uh, Jordan, obviously, he aged well. And he was actually dominant at times in Washington, but not like this. LeBron is just different. He's a different animal. I'm so jealous right now because usually physical beasts such as us, we slow down, but not the king, not LeBron. Us? I think he needs to rest more often, but when he dials it up, I think he's 25 again. Did you age well, Shaq? No, not at all. Ernie, you look beautiful. You're aging well, Ernie. Ernie, Ernie aged. Wow. Ernie, Ernie you aged. Oh, Ernie. my God. Wait. Benjamin Button. Man, I, think I, I think I had too much. <laughs> And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. And you know, I don't think he'll top the assist charts this year, but early on he's done a great job of keeping the ball hopping around. And some of it's just a mindset. He came into this game with a very unselfish approach, and his teammates have benefited from it. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. The stars of this team on the wing, George and Leonard. Baca is out there with Morris, and it's Beverly in at the point guard. That's who's out there for the Clippers. LeBron kicks it over to Schroeder. Back to LeBron, from deep, kept alive, Harrell, and that's good, a nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Ibaka finds Leonard. George looking around. Shot clock at five. Fires the three. Got it, and the Laker lead has been cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from Kawhi Leonard. Great rhythm on the catch and shoot. Kawhi showing us what's good. 
and, and Smitty with LeBron getting into his late 30s. KD coming off the Achilles. For your money, is Kawhi Leonard the best player in the world? Great question. I know one player, the Greek Freak, might have something to say about that. No less than Michael Jordan himself called Kawhi the best two-way player in the game. That's a very strong endorsement from MJ. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Kevin, good evening. The Clippers were picked by many to win the title last year. Now, they didn't get it done, but Kawhi Leonard is not concerned. He said, we've just got to keep getting better, keep fighting. It's about the right team peaking at the right time. Guys, they're hoping this season, their talent and their fight will win out. Back to you. We will see. Good stuff, DA. Thanks. Typically playing the road of Catalyst, this time Shrew's the one who gets set up. Outside Leonard. And he comes up with the deuce. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's LeBron. Eight points for him. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Morris outside. It's stolen by Schroeder. Passes it to LeBron. Over Beverly. Nice shot by James. LeBron's got the lead up to 14 now for the Lakers. And they're leaning on the mid-range right now. That's six of their last ten from that area. Zubac is checked in for Ibaka. Luke Kennard comes in for Marcus Morris. Lou Williams is subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. Rig, which team do you think has the toughest offense to stop in the NBA? You know, at their, in their heyday, it was the Warriors, no doubt about it. Uh, now, though, things are, are changing a little bit. Uh, it, it's a tough one to say. The Bucks seem to be amazing with what they're doing with Giannis. The Rockets with that one-two punch. And Harden and Westbrook is incredible. And don't sleep on the Lakers or the Clippers, partner. Right now, there's a few of them out there that I would lose a lot of sleep over trying to prepare to play against. Yeah, I'm glad you included the two L.A. teams. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. Offensive rebound. And he banks in the layup. LeBron's got 12. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Leonard against Kuzma. And it's Leonard missing. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Lakers working the ball around now. Got a piece of it. Kuzma finds Davis. Caldwell Pope outside. Davis with a screen on Kennard. Here's Caldwell Pope. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Zubats has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Williams. Great D that time from Dennis Schroeder. Lakers leading by 16. 
Lou Williams, so crafty GA, just a knack for putting the ball in the basket. This guy just has the gift. I mean, it's been that way forever. He is just a born scorer. And here is Williams, following Kyle Kuzma's three. Williams against Schroeder. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. James in the post. He's guarded by Williams. Count that bucket. 14 points for him. I mean, a perfect combination of power and grace. LeBron does a lot of damage in the mid-range. Hey, hey, right Zubats in the post. Davis is on. Zubats a screen on Kuzma. And Leonard gets it to go. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. George against James. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. And it's Williams with the ball for the Los Angeles Clippers. Now the Lakers on the break. We've got 33 seconds left in the third. The Clippers shooting an ugly 27% since halftime. Pass to Kennard. Tries the spin move. Williams passes to Leonard. Four on the shot clock. Shoots over Schroeder. And the shot is good. Leonard's got nine points in the quarter. Because he's so good at shooting it and driving it, Defenses overplay Lou, leaving other guys free. Davis with a screen on George. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Taking a look at the Lakers. Montrez Harrell is out there with Mark Gasol. Then it's Matthews. Then it's LeBron James. And it's Caruso in at the point. You see the toughness of Williams. Won't shy away from contact. James looking around. To the paint. It's stolen by Ibaka. Now here's Beverly. He kicks to Ibaka. Outside Williams. Here's Kennard. Out left of the wing. Here's Beverly. And James pulls it down. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. How about a minute played here in the fourth quarter? And here's Matthews from the arc. Rebound by the Clippers. Williams with the ball. Move. The Lakers with the rebound. James has got six rebounds now in the game. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. In. Oh, wow. Respect. LeBron showing the artistry that other players could only dream of. Williams against Matthews. Williams in the post. Good D by Matthews. Lakers leading by 20. I see him. Pass to Caruso. Yeah, that's all you. 
It's LeBron with the drive, and he uses the glass on the layup. James has got 13 points here in the second half alone. The Clippers have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter, and the pass to Ibaka. Kennard for three, and again it's the Clippers missing. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Harrell setting the pick for Matthews. He's looking for Harrell and finds him. Throws down the alley-oop slam. If you start the alley-oop, Harrell can usually finish it. He's an explosive big man with good hands. He's checked in for Kennard. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Now here's Leonard. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Here's Caruso, defended by Beverly. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. They need this. Leonard attacking, and the layup is good. Talk about making halftime adjustments. You love what they're doing with him now offensively. Caruso, the pass to James. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. by Beverly. Leonard dishes to Williams. Feeds to Ibaka. Over Harrell. It's Ibaka that time on the assist by Williams. That's a well-timed play. Well executed and Surge a quick, powerful roller to work with. Passes it to James. LeBron is doubled. And there's the foul. It goes on Serge Ibaka. That is his first foul of the game. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. And the Clippers making a change here. George is checked in. The Lakers also changing it up. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Gasol. Contavious called Will Pope comes in for Wesley Matthews. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Alex Caruso. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. LeBron James on the wing. Harrell trying to free himself up. Nice shot from the wing. LeBron's got six in the quarter. I'll tell you, trying to guard LeBron, it's easy to get frustrated. And it's been that way all night. Schroeder against Williams. Oh, man. He hasn't had the rhythm tonight. Tried to make up for it there, but it just wasn't meant to be. Loads it up for Davis. It's stolen by Ibaka. And here is Williams. Hits the three-point bomb. Quick feet, quick release. Hard to check Lou Williams from beyond the arc. James against Leonard. 
Now here's James. D right on him. Can't connect from 13 feet out. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a golly win for the Lakers. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for LeBron. High-level shot-making, what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. You know, Steve, one thing you admire about LeBron, how he shapes a possession for his team. He'll create situations where he, he gets a mismatch or, or helps his teammate find one. You know, Kevin, LeBron will use his high screens to just kind of shuffle defenders, make them think. Once he sees an opportunity, he'll pounce all over it. You can see him do this the most at the end of close games. Steve, one thing I always think of when I watch LeBron, how much fun it must be to be a teammate of his. You know, Kevin, I wish I could have played with a guy like LeBron James. You get so many open looks and easy finishes with him on the court. One of the easiest superstars to play with, bar none. Good on the second free throw. What is there to say about LeBron that hasn't been said? One of the all-time greats who can completely carry a team. Now here is George. Drives to the hoop. And good that time. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Horton Tucker, the pass to LeBron. And James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Pass to Kevin Kelly. Here's Mann. And here's Leonard from three. The shot that time, not on target. Here's Caruso. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, a challenge for you tonight with your matchup. How much motivation do you get in a game like this one? My matchup is not an individual matchup. It's, it's us as a team trying to get better, and uh, we was able to hold court, so it was a good win for us. Well, man, I appreciate the time. Thanks, man. Congrats. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.